Well, hello. I hope I have enough battery life to do this. Um, DJ Crooks here. Uh, and today I'm just going to give you a quick run through on how to do the virtual DJ keyboard and mouse scratch. So, um, really the key to it, the key to it is in the mappings. I'm just looking for a song here so I can show you. Okay, here's two two oddly different songs. Okay, we got Buster Rhymes here. So the key is in the mappings. The key is in the mappings. Um, you set certain. If you know how to scratch already on a on a regular, um, say, come professional mixer, then um, it's pretty much just adopting those techniques to your keyboard so um, what you do is you map a few buttons here um, the virtual DJ mapping is really easy to use so it shouldn't be too much problem um, it's just like a little programming language but what you do is you set a button say I have my button here that goes R crossfader 50% while press so that means anytime I press the R button the crossfader will go to the middle for as long as I hold down the R button so you can get some get some nice choppings in it you know so you can you know so it's all about your rhythm and your mapping so I've set a few different ones so I can get different lengths of the crossfader you know so I can do you know some of the tricky stuff like that but um it's really all about that and your movement with the mouse so get a nice smooth mouse and you can do something, you know. You can try. All right. So pretty much, you use the mouse. Use the mouse to handle your record here. Or if you feel more comfortable, if you feel more comfortable, you can go to the scratch menu here. I like original skin for virtual DJ, so I don't really change it. A lot of people, a lot of people try to get the Serato skin. The uh, Whatever other skin. A lot of people like to change the skin. I keep it original. Keep it plain. You know, it's a virtual DJ. Why hide it, right? So when you have your mapping set, you can have a little fun. And it's all about your cues as well. You can have a lot of fun with it. My laptop's kind of running hot, so you know I'm getting a little, a few glitches here and there. It's not responding as quickly as I'd like. But um, there you have it. Y'all know what it is. I sneak up in the club. I got that ratchet on me. So you don't want me to bug. You know what? Yeah. There you have it. Wait, wait. I'm not done. I'm not done. I also have a few buttons mapped to some effects so I can have some fun with it. So 
So I said it's all about your mapping. So we'll have this button here. I'm gonna set a loop so we can have some fun with it. Um, so I have my crossfader button here, which is R. I've set mine to R in the mappings. And I have popcorn, I have popcorn on this side, so we're gonna scratch in the popcorn right now. So I have my cues set already, so I don't have to worry about anything. So if you want, you could stab it. That's that's like a, I believe it was Grandmaster Flash. That's a Grandmaster Flash style. You could stab the sample. That didn't run as smoothly as I'd like it to, but I think you probably get the idea. But as I said, it's all in the mappings if you know your rhythm techniques and so on. Um, it's all about the mapping, so you can set your mappings and set your crossfader to a certain percentage while pressed, and then you can use that along with your cue points to do some scratchings. Okay, as I said, what you see now, it wasn't perfect, but I think it shows you it shows you what you can do, you know. So have some fun with it. Uh, if you have anything else you want to ask, let me know. This is DJ Crooks and Maverick, and I'm out. Be sure to donate to the Big Spliff LP. Help me make it a physical project, you know. Um, check out my blog spot. Check out my Tumblr, djcrooksnyc.tumblr.com. And big up to all Massive and crew. I'm out.